We are live in Spa. Looks lovely again. What was that? So, um, what's new? What's new, Max? What's new? That I'm uh, back alive, up and running uh, for the weekend. Yeah. How was your holidays? Yeah, it was good. Maybe a little bit too good. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but uh, no, it was good. I mean, uh, I went to a pizza, so. Where are we? We are in Spa. Beautiful Spa. 40 minutes from my house, so it's perfect. 40 minutes from your house, wow. So for anyone who's been living under a rock in the racing world, we're in Rouge, one of the most famous corners in the world. When was the first time you drove the track, but this corner, and did your nipples get aroused? Mm. Well, the first it was in the wet, mate. I, run, I had two days of testing in a Formula Renault, two liter. Yep. I was like, ah, oh, ready for spa, you know, loving it. I arrived, like it was pouring for like two days, like flat out. Okay. So uh, yeah, my first two days in Spa, driving up this uh, corner was a lot of water. Like the car was like, like a boat. Aquaplaning. Yeah, we had it's to kind of scary, huh? And what was, year was that? That was 2000, end of 2013. You were already in F1? I was already in F1 and he hadn't driven in Eau Rouge yet. Wow. I was also Formula Renault, two liter was my first time, 2007. Yeah. I mean, even though it's like flat out, it's still like in the bottom there, you feel suddenly a lot of grip. And then when, once you arrive like further than where we are sitting now, then the car just gets really gets light. And that's the point where it's blind. Cause like, cause we sit low and you kind of look up for a half a second or something, it's blind and it's kind of cool. No, absolutely. Especially in the wet. Cause this is already quite easily the longest track we go to. Se you know how long it is? 6.99999. Seven and four meters. 7,004. Yeah. Depends where you measure. If you take the good race line, it's a it's, bit shorter. It's shorter. <laughs> Smart ass. Did your dad- Come on, mate. Come on. <laughs> Flat out. Did your dad teach you anything he's, around this he's, track? He's pushing it. Uh, did your dad teach you anything around here? Yeah, to go flat out. <laughs> but actually, I have a very funny story here. My manager, his racing career lasted 200 meters. I don't know. <laughs> it's, well, how far is it from the pit lane till here, you think? 300 meters? Something like that. My manager, he got a ride. He yeah, could do a few laps around the track and spa. But my dad said, you know, this corner is easy flat. But that's within that one car. So my manager goes out in the car, cold tires, thinks this corner is flat. Cold straight tires, away. Straight away, goes flat out into this corner. But back in the day, there was still a lot of gravel here, so no, no tarmac. So he lost it, spun into the gravel, rolled, kept rolling, and ended up on the other side of Rouge to go flat out straight away. Like even we, like in 2016 or 15, you didn't go flat out from that one. Not the, you pull out the pits, you're like, you just want to take it, take your time. Yeah, but he did it, cold tires. Hey, you did not just run a lap. You just came up here. He's doing intervals. Oh. Evening chaps. Good day. Having fun? None of your business. <laughs> Have you tried the waffles here? Yes. They are good though. When I was younger, I could eat everything I wanted and not put on any weight. Now, every time I eat, I, I still stay skinny, but I do put on. So long story short, I don't eat them like I used to, but boy, do I miss them. Yeah, absolutely. My goodness. But you have to try the french fries with all the stuff on it. Yeah, can you get me some? Yeah, but should we do that after the weekend? Uh, up, up, fucked out the chauffeur, up, up. As much as I've loved your company in this conversation, I much more enjoy driving at 300 kilometers an hour through this part of the track. 